Of all the patterns we have available, the opposite pattern is probably the hardest to spot. This puzzle, number 82, from Sudoku to Go, volume 139, shows how to spot the elusive pattern. We will also look at the, th the three rows and columns in each section and see their relationships to each other. I'll explain that as we solve. Be sure to check out sudokuprimer.com. There's all kinds of Sudoku info there, including write-ups on Sudoku patterns and techniques, so you can learn more about them. All right, well, we're going to start with this number right here, number four right there. Now, how did I get that? Well, we got a four and a f here and a four here, so one of these is a four. We've got a four here, so one of these is a four. That eliminates these two rows from this section, so the only place a four can go in box seven here is here or here, and with that four, we can finish that one. And that helps us find that four also there. All right, now um, you notice there's a five here. So one of these is a five. And if we can find another number here that isn't in that box yet, that would be the twin to the five. We've got a, a four, a nine, and a two already. Uh, but we don't have a 7. So these are 5, 7 twins there. That leaves 3 and 8 there. And with this 3 right here, we can fi fill in the 3 and the 8. And then we've got a, a 6 right here. I can just finish that column there. All right. And now with this 8 and an 8 here, we have ghost 8s here. We've got an 8 here, ghost 8's here, so that's an 8 right there. All right. Now let's look at what we're missing here. We're missing 2, 3, 6, 9. 2, 3, 6, and 9 here. We've got a 2, 3, and 6 there, so we know that's a 9. All right, now look at box five here. This is the opposite pattern that I was talking about. And that one's a little, a little hard to spot sometimes because we just don't expect to find um, something with just two numbers in a, in a box. But notice we've got a nine and a seven here and a nine and a seven here. So in the middle, row of this box and the middle column of this box we've got a 9 and a 7. That makes these 7 9 twins. Now isn't that interesting? I mean we only have two two numbers in this box but we found a set of twins because of the opposite pattern. So you can kind of see that the opposite pattern may be a little hard to spot because you're just not expecting to find twins in a box that only has two numbers in it already, the four and eight. But here we've got a seven and a seven nine twins there. So let's see what we can do with that. We've got a one and a one there, so that's a one right there. All right, and a five can go here. Um, well, there's a five there, so a five can go here or here, but that can't be a five because it's one of the seven nine twins. So the five goes right there. And we know these numbers are 2, 3, and 6. We found those earlier when we were solving this column here. All right. Um, now, uh, notice we have a wall right here. And uh, we've got a 3, 1, and a 4 here. We've got a 1 already in box 8 but we don't have a three or a four, so these are four, three, four twins. There's a three right there, so we can put the three, four twins in, or the three and four in. And now we've, we're missing two, six, nine here. There's a two and a six there. 
So that 9 goes right there. There's a 2 and a 6 there already, so that's a 6, and that's a 2. All right, now I'm going to show you this special relationship I was talking about. Um, remember how um, when you're looking for numbers in a section, you kind of look for, like, here's an 8, here's an 8, so one of these is an 8. But notice here there's a 5 and an 8 here and a 5 and an 8 here. And there are only two, and that covers these two columns, but there's only two empty cells in this box in this column. So these are 5, 8 twins. So you see that special relationship, 5, 8, 5, 8, 5, 8. Now we can't solve those yet. We don't have enough information. But that me means that's a 7. And remember, our 7, 9 twins, so we can fill in the 9 there also. All right, now, again, we've got a 9 here, but we've got a 2 and a 6 here. So that means that, there, and, and these are 2, 6, and 3. We knew, knew that from before. So we got 2, 6, 2, 6, 2, 6. And look at this, we got a 2 and a 6 there. So that means these are 2, 6 twins. With that 6, we can solve them. And then that makes that a 7 because it's the only number left in that column. Here are our 5, 8 twins that we found. All right. Um, let's see. And now let's look at this section over here. We got 2, 7 here and 2, 7 here. So we, that, again, a special relationship with these columns. Uh, we know one of these is a 2 and one of these is a 7. We've got a 2 and a 7 already there, so these are two 7 twins right there. We've got a 2 there already, so we can put fill those in. And now let's see, we're missing uh, two numbers here, 3 and 5. There's a 3 there, so we can finish that row. All right. And uh, now with that 7 that we just fit, uh, put in, we can solve the 5, 7 twins that we found earlier. All right. And now we've got a 4 here and a 4 here, so we know that's a 4. And that helps us find this 4 right there. All right, and with this 5, now we can solve the 5, 8 twins that we found. And then we're missing an 8 in this row. And now we have 3, 9 here and 1, 5 here. I don't think we can solve either of those. I mean, we can't solve those, but 3, 9 there, 1, 5 there. We'll remember those. All right, now, <clears throat> here, again, here's another special relationship with these columns. We've got 2, 6, 7 there, 2, 6, 7 there. So these are 2, 6, 7 right here. We've got a 2 and a 7 there, so that's a 6. And that can't be a 7 because of that 7 right there. So this is a 2 and that's a 7. And now we're missing 1, 3, 8 there, which we can't solve yet. But we do have a, remember our 2, 6, 3 here. We got a 2 there, 2 there, so that's a 2. A 6 there, so we know that's the 3 and that's the 6 from our 236 triplets that we found earlier. All right, now we're only missing two numbers in row 5 here. Let's see what we're missing. 3, 8. 
3 and 8. Got a 3 there, so we can fill in the 8 and the 3 in that row. All right, and we've got a 6 there, 6 there. So that's a 6. All right, and now we've got 1, 8, 1 and 8 there. With that 8, we can solve those. All right, and these are 1 and 3. With that 3, we can solve them. All right, with this 3, we can solve our 3 9s that we found here a few minute, couple minutes ago. And with this 1, we can solve the 1 5 there. And this is 5 and 9 right there. And now we're missing 1 and 9 there. And 1 and 8 there. And 5 and 9 there. And we finished it. So there, there you can see the special relationships I was talking about between rows. Like you got a 1, 6 there, 1, 6 there, 1, 6 there. Uh, I didn't point that out while I was solving, but uh, th this one I did. There's 2, 7, 2, 6, 7 there, 2, 6, 7, 2, 6, 7, 5, 8, 5, 8, 5, 8. So look for those special relationships while you're solving puzzles. It'll help you find numbers quicker. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.